Welcome back, Zion family. Welcome, 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 welcome back. Okay. And listen, if you are new, you are watching for the first time. My name is Pastor Kareen. I am a youth pastor at Apostolic Triumph for Church International. And you, my friend, are watching Zion Terrain. Yes, my own personal YouTube channel where I literally just allow God to use me to bring knowledge of his word to you, my brother, my sister that is watching in the best way that he sees fit. Amen. And I want you to go ahead and use this time to join the fam. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Once you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell. When you hit the bell, make sure you hit all so you're notified of every single one of my uploads. Okay. And what I need you to do is go ahead and like the video and share it with someone because there's someone out there that will definitely benefit from what God is using me to say in this video and every other video that I do okay so also last but surely not least the video is about to start in five four three two and one hey you guys welcome back okay listen i'm so excited i'm so excited guess why because we're learning about who we are like oh my gosh like you gotta be excited about that you have to be so yes we're learning about who we are in christ okay and remember from my last video i said that the foundational scripture is coming from second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 and it literally says therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creature old things are passed away Behold, all things are become new. And if you remember from my last video, I said that what we're going to focus, what we're focusing on is that new creature. Who, what is that? Who is that new creature that God is talking about that we are in him? Once we find out who that, what that is, what that looks like, then we will know who we are in him. And one of the biggest things that just like made so much sense, it was made so much sense when God just like landed it in my mind was like, in order for you to even understand who you are, you got to know who you are not. Yes, you got to know who you are not. And one of the biggest things that I realized even Christians think they are that is so not true and is not God is the fact that we are sinners. We are not sinners, okay? I will spell it out for you. I will say it clearly again. I want you to let this sink into your mind. And I know this is messing up some people's spiritual, some people's beliefs right now. Yeah, I know I'm coming after you. wrong beliefs. That is not of God. We are not sinners. Outside of Christ, before we, were, before we were in Christ, yes, we were considered sinners. The moment we got into Christ, we are no longer sinners. Let me help you understand why. We're going to go to another book in the Bible. What book are we visiting? We're going to visit the book of Ephesians. What chapter? Chapter 4. What verse? We're going to go to verse 24. I'm going to read verse 24 first, then I'm going to go to verse 22 to get a little, a little bit more, you know, background on how we got to 24. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so we are chapter, chapter 4, verse 23. I'm going to read 24 first, right? So it says, and that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Whoa, 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 wait, hold on, hold on. Just bag back, bag back. After God is created in sinning? I don't think I see that there. So I don't see anything concerning being a sinner, this new man being a sinner, being called a sinner. You know, I don't see any, I don't see that there. But what I will emphasize that I do see there is, it says that you put on, like how you, how you put on clothes. God is telling us to put on 
the new man, this new man is the new creature that he was talking about in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. This new man, and then it then, it then tells us, he then tells us that this new man, which is after God, so that means this new man was, is basically a different way, another way of saying what God said in Genesis, which is he created us in his own image and likeness. That's exactly what he's saying again right here. This new man, which is after God, is created in righteousness. So who are you? Righteousness. You are righteous. And there's even another scripture that says you are the righteousness of God. We are the righteousness of God. You are not a sinner. This is what it, this is what I want you to get from this video. That you are not a sinner. The moment you can get that. And, and look at this. I'm going to read verse 23. It says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. This is not the first time that God has said to be renewed in your mind. To have your mind be renewed because he knows it's what's going to take us being transformed to fully walk in this new man that he has created us to be in him. It takes our mind being renewed. It takes our perspective of ourselves being changed. The moment you can get out of the mindset of seeing yourself as a sinner, you can begin to walk in righteousness. Yeah. You will now fulfill the lust of the flesh. You will feel, the only thing, the only reason why you be you're fulfilling the lust of the flesh is because you're constantly seeing, viewing, and thinking of yourself as a sinner. And one and there's even one of these past videos that I've done, and I said that whatever you think of yourself is what you will become. Whatever you think here will be your reality, whether it's true or not. As long as you think it and believe it, you as long as you think it, you will believe it. And it will become your reality, whether it's actually true or, or true according to God. You get what I'm saying? So, and why is that? Because God made us in his own image and likeness. And whatever we believe, whatever we have here is what's going to manifest. Because that's the way that God operates. We operate like God because he made us in his own image and likeness, right? So your mind has to be renewed. Stop thinking that you are a sinner as you're going to forever be one. You're going to forever operate like one. You're going to forever think like one. So what you are not is a sinner, but what you are is righteous. You are righteous. And then not only that, guess what, it, guess what else it also says? And true holiness. So you are holy. You're not holy because you, put, you, you dress yourself, you cover yourself from head to toe. You are not holy because you do not wear makeup. No. You are not holy because you don't wear jewelry. I'm sorry, boo-boo, honey. No, that's not what makes you holy. No, what makes you holy is the fact that this new man that God has given you in Jesus Christ, he has created that new man that you are now in Christ holy. He has made that person righteous. So now when he sees you, he sees that new man. He doesn't see who you were before you entered into Christ. So... That's all I want you to focus on today. You are not, you are not a sinner. You are not a sinner. You are not a sinner. Guess what you are? Righteousness. You are true holiness. And that's what I want to, I want you to sit down, ponder on, meditate. The word even tells us to meditate on, meditate on the word of God day and night. Chew on this scripture that I just gave you. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23. Oh, I think I forgot to read. I think, no, no, no. I think I did read it. Verse 22. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. I don't, I don't even remember if I did. Child, I, I, let me read it just in case. I don't even remember if I did. I just do, I just do know that um, I brought it out. But I'm going to go back to Ephesians. And I'm going to read. I'm going to read. And it's coming from the chapter four, but I'm going to read verse 22 because verse 22 has something there important that you need to know as well. That will help you understand even the, the old you, right? So Ephesians chapter four, verse 22, it says that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. So, 
the part I want us to focus on in this part of the scripture is when it says, which is corrupt, which is corrupt, which helps us to understand that the person we were before we entered into Christ was corrupt, corrupt as in distorted, distorted, tainted, because what we were originally, who we originally were, was what this new man God has given us in Christ. That's how we were before all of this foolishness, before we became a slave to sin. That's who we were. But the moment you've accepted Christ, and listen, I need you to understand this. I need you to let the revelation hit you. You are not a sinner you are the righteousness of god and the moment you can believe that and see yourself that way boom i promise you you begin to transform in such a beautiful way you will begin to flourish you will begin to become fruitful you will begin to see your light shine. And that's what God wants for you. You will begin to see yourself prosper. You begin to see yourself manifest the things that we are supposed to be manifesting. Operating in all the gifts that we're supposed to be operating in. So listen, if you don't take anything from this video, I want you to take the fact that you are the righteousness of God. You are a whole new person in God. You are not who you used to be the moment you entered into Christ. That new creature that he said you are the moment you enter into him is that new man. And that new man is filled with righteousness and holiness. There's nothing you can do to deserve it. There's nothing you can do to earn it. You didn't do anything to earn it. That's just how much our God loves us. So take, do not take God's love and this free gift that he has done for me, for you, for, for granted. Take it, take this, take this knowledge and apply it. Understand it so that it can become wisdom in your life. And that's all I'm going to be sharing or what I'm sharing with you, God, with you all in this video. I pray that you allow it to transform your mind. I pray that you allow it to transform your life, your character. Because that's what God wants for you. And that's what I want for you. And that's what you're going to be seeing. And I pray that you're already seeing taking place with me. Because I remember I told you, I want to be that example to you. So, I leave you with this. Remember, you are not a sinner. You are the righteousness of God. Walk in it. Own it. And allow it to be your steps that you take to climb the ladder of success, transformation, transformation prosperity, healing, and all this good stuff in your life. Love you guys. i see y'all next week, Tuesday. Mwah. Well, look who made it to the end of the video. You. It was you. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I appreciate you taking the time out to watch my videos. And guess who appreciates it the most? God, because he's the one that's using me as a vessel to speak, and he's the one speaking as I am speaking, okay? So if anybody is the most proudest, or happiest, and most grateful, is the Lord, okay? And I want to tell you before you leave to make sure you tune in next week Tuesday, because guess what? I upload every Tuesday. Yes. So tune in every single Tuesday for a new upload. Okay, you guys? I'll see you guys next week Tuesday. Bye.